There's one skill in sim racing we all need to master to progress, to get faster, but most important to enjoy this a hell of a lot more. The reason I came up with this video is because when I go online, when I search in communities or I see people struggle, there's always something missing, something they're like trying to find to get into this sim racing enjoyment because at the end of the day that's probably the most important about it when you're entering sim racing so you came from racing games and you get into like sim racing there is so much information coming your way there's like a million things you need to consider you need to consider fuel levels tire pressures everything is going to be simulation it is absolutely not entry friendly so if you have no experience on sim racing or racing games, whatever, this can be very daunting and it can be very hard to master in the beginning. But this channel that I have, I dedicate a little bit to beginners and this video could absolutely be maybe something like a guide for you how to actually get started, get better, get faster. But faster is not the essence. It's about getting better mastering this for once and for all let's get into it so first when you want to go into sim racing you want to stick at some point with the same game like test different things out what gives you the best feeling there's a lot of stuff online where you can find like oh this is like real simulation this is like a like a sim cade like arcade sim choose something you really like and stick with it don't change too much because let me explain if we choose the same game and we stick with our sim racing gear we stick with the track we stick with the track conditions and we're using the same car and the same car setup you can actually get rid of a lot of new information that's coming at you all these different things i just mentioned will be uh, a constant a steady one uh, consistent variables so you don't have to worry about uh, different tracks different cars different gear like settings everything will be the same and this is very important when you're starting off because changing everything all the time will just keep you in the dark and you have no clue what you're doing something to note here basis of like all the same values i want to talk car assist like game assist as well if you absolutely did nothing with racing before you should pick assists as well because this will make it even more easy to focus on your own inputs getting some help from the game now important is that you don't rely on this too heavy and you you should switch it off as soon as possible as soon the game allows you to it to do it so that is a, like a quick side note i wanted to mention when everything is like a constant and i'm gonna just like use spa and spa as an example uh, you can start driving this track and just do a practice session don't make it too long and get comfortable get comfortable when you're like braking points uh, steering inputs racing line and a very important pillar of this is that you stay on track to make it more enjoyable now the first win would be if you can get like some lap time doesn't matter how fast uh, you can actually like stay your car on track for let's say three laps you didn't go off like for three laps this is a great achievement in the beginning i think it's very important to stay on track in the beginning because if you're like overshooting every corner and you get into the grass or you crash yourself out of like practice session all the time uh, this can be very demotivating and it can be very like hitting your subconscious level saying to you this is too hard man can't do this so really important to stay on track later maybe weeks later you can actually get into some sort of a consistent lap time a lot of people say if you want to improve whatever you need to be consistent get consistent lap times but this is true but it's the end product of a consistent driving style now the reason why i said you want to have like same car same track whatever is meaning that you don't have to worry about these variables and you can only focus on the driving so to get consistent lap times you want to have consistent braking points consistent steering inputs consistent racing line 
and you want to have consistent throttle behavior and as soon as you get into this rhythm that you can actually drive like a few laps and get comfortable then you will actually create some overhead in your brain in your mind so you can maybe start talking or start thinking about stuff when you're on let's say a straight or a certain corner section you already did quite a lot of times and you're even like start worrying about like if 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 the wife is complaining that you're doing this all the time now this will be clues that you can go into the next step because you have like built up the consistency when you get there when you get consistent then you can actually go to a different track learn that track now let's say you pushed like you did spa for let's say 100 or 200 laps and maybe even more this is gonna take time but let's say you did a different track you're already familiar with your car you're already familiar with your gear with like how things are looking on the screen everything will be exactly the same only the track will be different i promise you you're gonna learn this track three times faster than you learned your first track and this will like compound up to the next tracks as well this is why it's important to actually change your tracks uh, at some point and now we get into the next juicy part if we get like some consistency going in this game the next step i want to get into is awareness so if you are consistent and by the way you can consistency practice will never stop if you're absolutely really fast and good and like having a lot of like knowledge you can always get more consistent so first consistency will be staying on track and not make oversteery mistakes and sometimes though this will mean that you never break too late again you are always hitting your apex and at some point uh, consistency will be like optimal trail braking and if I like screw up a little bit then maybe the lap time will be like a half a second slower and that will be actually your biggest mistake in the whole race that is how consistency like you never stop learning consistency and I said consistency times now like 700 times I'm hammering on this so much because it's absolute most important skill in sim racing I actually believe if you can hit like decent lap times like consistent not fast lap times but like consistent lap times you can go into races now i'm a big fan of low fuel motorsports and you can race there every day of the week but there is a lot of other communities uh, other like leagues you can get into i think there are beginner leagues as well I, I would not know which ones maybe this is something you can drop in the comments because i'm really searching for something else as well which can be fun to get into so Arnold, what do you mean with awareness? Well, as you're getting into consistent driving style, you can actually grow and focus on other things. So the shifting, inputs, everything will be like more automatic and you can change your vision on maybe I wanna cut this corner a little bit differently. Maybe I wanna have like a different braking behavior on the first corner. This is all adding to your awareness. You're gonna look at replays and summarize. Maybe you get into some like analytical stuff like telemetry. They're all tools to increase your awareness. And awareness is also for like, how much do you look in the mirror? What is the guys in front of you doing? What is the guys behind you doing? Are they like closing the gap? Or are you actually disappearing? You know? these all these things can grow from a consistent driving style and you can actually get faster from a consistent driving style so this is like you can see how this skill is just affecting everything in your driving now as you get more aware and you get like more consistent you start building your own car setups because you know you know what's gonna happen when you let let's say change the brake bias a little bit now if your awareness starts growing you get into the best part of this all and that is being able to adapt to all situations now this can take years this will not happen overnight and but i believe that if we can focus on some consistency for once then uh, you can actually build this up and start growing this skill 
So if we add consistency and awareness together, we get into adaptability. And I think this is the best place to be. And I don't really think you should be super fast racer. You can do this from like a normal pace for like how normal people would drive like race cars in simulators. I really feel like I mastered a pretty decent amount of consistency and awareness. I can like focus on a lot of things. Uh, the, the thing I'm getting into right now is maybe changing brake bias for different corners that can actually help me out uh so yeah this is the level that uh, i'm at um what i'm actually most enjoying about sim racing is that we get into these different lobbies and all and i focus still focus on the same car for a full season so let's say 10 or 12 weeks i will be in the same car just for the same reason that i can get some consistency out of it and it really helped me out a lot if i change cars too much in a season i lack the overall pace because i'm just missing consistency having some skill to adapt to this is absolutely the best thing changing up your car setup changing up your driving style behavior because you're like aware things aren't going your way you're starting to get aware that you have like uh, the wrong racing line maybe you're like not hitting those uh, best lap times all the time so you need like it gets very complicated at that point but if you have like baseline consistency and awareness you can adapt to all of the situations yeah tires get too hot oversteer situations maybe you're like getting into really advanced cars as well where you need to consider fuel levels how is the car behaving with a like full tank or with an empty tank and also, this is also a point where you go on to get into like races when it starts raining. Now, uh, that doesn't mean you should never get into a rainy race uh, before, but um, to enjoy this, you know, enjoyment is the most. Bruh. I hope this helped you out master consistency because that's at the end of the day, it, it's all gets from uh, consistency. If you don't have a decent car setup, check the video next. It's the base setup that I use for every car and every track in Assetto Corsa Competizione. Check it out.